Hi seed keepers. Today I'm exploring in my yard and um, I was wondering what insects are out and today's the first day I've seen bunches of ladybugs um, in little groups and so we're gonna today talk about ladybugs a little bit. I wonder if you've been seeing them in your yard and I'm gonna um, it's been a couple hours now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find those little bunches of ladybugs again. So when I walk around in my yard looking for the insects that are out, when I come upon an insect, before I interact with that insect, I first observe their environment because that has a lot to teach us. So ladybugs um, live in lots of different environments in forest, in city, in suburban areas like our neighborhoods, um, and on farms and the ladybug is really celebrated by farmers because they part of their diet is to eat bugs that eat our crops on our farms um, like aphids um, or scale bugs are another one so ladybugs eat on these bugs and it helps the farmers and it helps us to be able to harvest those vegetables because um, they're helping to control the the insects that might eat a lot of the harvest so i have one of the insects that i have here and when i observed her environment she was with a little group in a meadow at the bottom of my yard and so i collected some of the plants that i saw in the meadow so that while i was um temp while i'm temporarily observing her i can make sure that i have an environment that will be more comfortable than just an empty container so Let's see, first of all, we'll see if we can see her. Okay, she's at the very top. Okay. Let's see if you can see her here. Um, there she is. She's going around the rim. So, Oh, she just flew into my environment that I made for her. This is just a temporary one because I'm going to, we're going to make a better one now. So you can see her there. And she has, ladybugs can have a lot of different numbers of spots. So, um, oops. Let me set this back up. Oops. Okay. Sorry, that dropped. Okay, so yeah, the ladybugs, there there are actually 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs in the world. So there are a ton of different ladybugs. And one of the differences, one of the main differences you might first observe is to see how much, how many spots are on the ladybug's wings. So that one, uh, actually the most common in North America has seven uh, uh, spots on her. But this one looked like there were a lot more. I haven't counted them exactly yet, but that is one step in identifying which ladybug it might be. <clears throat> so here's my bigger container that um, I'm gonna set up for her for observation so I can observe and learn from her a little bit more and try to make an environment that will feel a little bit more natural to her and have a little bit more space. So I've gathered some of the plants that I saw in the meadow one of these is, you might remember this from another one of our videos, it's called Kentucky Bluegrass. I don't know if you all might have any meadows around your house where you could look for that Kentucky Bluegrass. So I'm going to put some Kentucky Bluegrass in here. Okay and some buttercups. I saw some buttercups down there in the meadow. And ladybugs often really uh, like flowers in their environment, their little temporary habitat if you're making a terrarium for them. And then the uh, eastern daisy fleabane, it's often in the meadows. Put that in there. Uh, you all might remember this from a couple weeks ago in the curriculum. Remember this one? 
purple dead nettle. So I'll add those in and these, which have that similar look, but they have a brighter purple and the flowers stand up a bit higher. So this one is the hen bit. Okay, so I'll add those in. <clears throat> Some, some vetch, some clover flowers. And some dandelions. Okay. And then I have a few sticks for climbing because they often like to climb around. And um, ladybugs will, well, actually, we could think about this in terms of all creatures. Um, if you were to feel unsafe, and especially if you were so small, it's important to think about what, what might the ladybug want if, um, if she felt threatened or unsafe. She might want a place that felt like she could quickly tuck under and hide. So we also make sure to have something like that, like a big leaf or um, maybe like a little shell, something that's easy to climb under to hide. Oh. Let me show you. I didn't realize you couldn't see my little terrarium. Okay, so now I'm going to see if she wants to come into this little terrarium. This won't roll away. Okay. Let's see where she is. Oops, she's right there. I'm just putting this on loosely, but you would want to put holes in the top too. If you closed it all the way, let's see if you can observe her. She's right there at the top. Let's see. Ooh, trying to open it. There she is. She's kind of exploring around a little bit. Oop. She's all the way there at the back now. She's just climbing around in the new environment. Here she comes. And ladybugs are beetles, so they're not bugs. They're beetles, and they have uh, beetles have a harder shell on the <clears throat> on the outside, um, and they they also have a little bit dif of difference in their metamorphosis when they transform from larva into their adult form. And the ladybug. Um, I was talking about earlier about the farmers, how they really appreciate the ladybug, and she got her name uh, from farmers in Europe because the ladybugs come from Europe. They were brought over to the United States to help control the number of aphids. And um, she got her name because European farmers at one time uh, had a lot of trouble with their crops, and the pests were eating their crops at a... Uh, at a rate that was really um, ruining all of the vegetables that were coming in. And so they were praying to Mary, and, um, and, and later the ladybugs came in in large numbers and started eating all the pests. And so it saved um, the crops in a way they didn't expect. And so they... Um, so they came to call the ladybug um, the beetle of Our Lady, and then uh, it was Lady Beetle, and then it become, became Ladybug. So she's in there somewhere now. I don't see her. And I was just going to show you in your terrarium something that uh, ladybugs like and that can give them energy is... Um, is raisins soaked in water so um, I have some raisins here that I've been soaking in water 
and they have a little um, coconut on them too actually but as long as it's something that's not too acidic a fruit that can also um, you could soak to get more liquid in it so that you can put those in the terrarium and that way when she comes to snack on it it's both food and water another thing that ladybugs tend to eat if you're observing them just something that you can put in there for some nutrients while you're observing until you, um, just for a little bit is to put uh, tiny pieces of lettuce tear it up really small so I did that here and then lastly um, I won't put it in right now but just honey is another another really great thing for the ladybugs a tiny smidge of honey maybe on a leaf and that way it can serve as some nutrition uh, and you you don't want to keep them for a long time but if you're keeping them for maybe a day and a half or so you can add that nutrition and then they'll um, have food and water you want to make sure that those raisins stay moist over that period or you can put something like a paper towel that's moist because all creatures um, need water to survive, including us. So I'll have to take a picture of her and count how many dots. She has a lot of dots. So I'm gonna um, take her down to where I found her and let her go so that she can go back with her little ladybug family she was with. So keep your eyes out and maybe you too can observe the environment where you find the ladybugs and try to copy that environment to make the same one inside a jar um, or a, a plastic container where you can observe them and learn from them for a little while.